The animation editor can be used to create self-playing tours. This means that you can create a walkthrough of a tour that plays without any interaction. This can be a great solution for showing projects at a kiosk or simply as an elaborate auto-rotation. So let's get started. I've loaded a tour in Pano 2 VR Pro, and I want to use the animation tool to simulate how a user would interact or navigate through the tour. I'll select the first node and open the animation editor, and then I'll add a clip. I'll spin the panorama for the first movement, and then I'll add a magic keyframe. Then I'll select the keyframes and copy them and then paste them one or two seconds later to create a pause. Now I'll move here and then add another magic keyframe, this time using enter or the return key. And again, I'll copy the keyframes. I'll move the image one last time and add the last magic keyframe for this clip. I'll move to the next node using the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control right bracket, and then I'll add a new clip. I want this node to begin at a different angle than its default view, so I'll spin it to where I want it to start, and then I'll hit the toggle keyframes button. I'll move the panorama again, and then set magic keyframes. I'll copy and paste them to pause here, and then I'll add another angle. And on to the next node. I'll add a clip, and then I'll set the starting view. Then I'll add the next magic keyframes, and finally, I'll shorten the timeline so it's not stuck on this view for too long. So, just like that, we've created a custom auto-rotation, and all the clips have been added to the default sequence. Before I output this, I'll review what I've got so far. I'll go to the Animation menu and choose Loop, and then All Clips. This loop setting is for the playback of the timeline, and since I chose all clips, when I click play, all the clips in the currently selected sequence will play back in order from top to bottom. Now I'll add an HTML5 output. I'll add the silhouette skin so that I have an auto rotation button and I'll just make sure that it's set to show. And in this pane, select Auto-Rotation and Animation. If we had more sequences, we could choose one, but for now, we'll just use the default sequence. And including a nice transition will help the tour feel fluid. For this example, I'm using a Dissolve and leaving the other settings at their defaults. And that's it, so let's see how this looks. Now I have a fourth image I want to use in this auto-rotation, so I'm going to go back to the project and add it. This node is inside the building, and I'll need to update some clips and create new ones to make this tour as seamless as possible. I'll add a clip for this node, and it's automatically added to the default sequence but I don't want to mess with this sequence, so I'll add a new one. I also don't want to redo the work I've just done, so I'll add the clips I made earlier. This clip needs to end at a different position, so instead of changing it, which would affect it also in the default sequence, I'll duplicate it instead. Open this menu by doing a long mouse press. Now I can remove the original clip, and then edit the last keyframe. I 
I also need to add a new clip from this node as a transition to the next node. So I'll add a new clip. And then I'll rearrange the clips so they're in order. And then I'll create the animation for this additional tour node. Back in the output pane, I'll just go to the animation settings and choose the new sequence and then output it again. And that's animating a tour.